CJX C88. Today it's Wednesday, second, yes, January 25th, 2023. They just give me this cylinder head from the office. This is for the CJX that I have outside that have epoxy on the inlet and has a crack. And oh boy, in any case, that's the cylinder head what they sent me. All right. Solenoid has a heat here. Sealant, all right. Important thing to check. Surfaces, obviously, guides, valves. I think that does have all the valves. When I saw it, I didn't have, didn't have all the valves. In any case, surfaces, valve guides, valve seat, putting inside the camshaft, Torquing down on specs up the cover and see that it doesn't bite anywhere. See that here it's okay, it's clean, does have any scoring. All this after washing. So let me put it sideways just a second. Yes, I can. Alright, it sits on the studs for the exhaust manifold. Alright. I don't see any crack between the valves here. I see that somebody marked the valves before, they hammer it. Okay, uh, they are missing the four valves from the number four cylinder. The surface has seen better days. It's not the ideal. It, it nobody resurfaced before. You can tell from this one and from this. And yeah, so definitely you can send out the machine shop for resurfacing. That's for sure. Just one light pass to clean up. For the head gasket then need to check also if the what in hell is that uh, need to check also the where it sits the valve how much the height all right looks like nobody touched before that's a good one that's a good news all right ports look some touched some scratches here on the surface here and there the campus is sensor is shown. This is what? Hmm. Okay. Removing also the studs here. Did they put silicon here or what? Did they put silicon external? Why? What's the point? Oh boy. Alright, okay. Stripping it off. Cleaning it. Bring it inside for inspection. And then we're gonna start from there. I want to see the guides. That's that's the most important thing because if we need guides, at least send to the machine shop guides and for resurfacing. Two things the story. First the valve guides, then the resurface, like all the time. That's the number zero two six nine one seven six two. Fine, fine. Sorry, I want to mention something. I just now grab the tool to start opening the cover. I just removed the first thirty torques here. Currently there are one. Two, three, four, yes, four thirty dogs. What I notice, notice this. It's not been done by me. I'm just saying, all right? It, it calls time set, something like that. I don't know how it's called in English. There is one, two, three, four, five. And this, this is gone as well. I mean, me, I'm putting helicoil usually. I'm not doing this mess here on the cover, but that's me. Maybe it's better. Ah, here somebody already put a helicoil here. Here there is a helicoil, and here and here. And again, when you're torquing down the breather, the PCV for here, you're not torquing down the Titanic. It's a plastic piece of thing and has a stopper also. So you just five newtometers, ten newtometers maximum. Ten is too much. Five newtometers is more than enough, if I remember right. Yep, just saying, just saying. All right, moving on. Okay. Okay, what okay? Why, why is sandpaper here? It's a precise surface and they have machined this cover with the cylinder head together. So you don't have to, you don't have to be aggressive here. All right, all right. And then here, 
you see some scoring here and here. I'm gonna check all this. I will gonna check all this. I might put a plastic cage to have a look on it. What's going on? It's not the ideal. It's rough. Yeah, it's, it is rough. It's so difficult to bring an unhealthy cylinder head. <laughs> it's so yeah, it looks like it's so difficult. All right, ah, here it's missing also a valve spring, a retainer. Okay, okay, just just have an idea what's going on. What's the valve seal? I don't want to say anything, but if I can move the exhaust valve that much with the oil and the seal on it, I don't think it's going to be good news for the valve guides. In any case, moving on, right? Moving on. Stop complaining. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just mention. Moving on. All right, stripping it off. Exhaust valves, intake valves, valve springs. That's how how many they have inside, all right? Uh, retainers, looks a little bit rusty. Springs, looks a little bit rusty. Valves, looks, looks a little bit disaster. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it will not gonna be on specs, definitely. Definitely not gonna be on specs. the valves you cannot use the valves intake or exhaust valves what's that yeah forget the valves like I said let's get this one I haven't get any measurement. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, this is even worse. After washing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it again. This is also fucked up. Big time. Yeah. The exhaust valve guides, if you're asking me, definitely gonna have a wear. Since the valve has a wear, you're gonna have also a guide wear. All right, intake. Oh, this is not passing in. Oh shit. Yep. And how it pass out? How it pass out? It's not passing in. Okay, let's let's go to the next one. Acceptable the intake. Mm, nope. Acceptable. Nope. Acceptable. What what's happening? One it's okay, one's not okay. This is okay. And this is okay. Three valve guides need to be replaced definitely, and you're not gonna change only three, you're gonna change all of them. So, before I clean it, before I do anything, I'm gonna say from now valve guides, intake exhaust, valves, intake exhaust, valve seals, valve springs, retainers, and resurface. That's 101 till now, all right. Let's see how I'm gonna end up this. Let's see how I'm gonna end up. This is manageable. The important thing, the cover here up, 
there where it sits the camshafts these points we're gonna find out today today it's thursday january 26 2023 uh, yesterday i had to stop i have to go outside that's why i didn't continue now sealing the head after the first wash and and now omar he's gonna stop me again because i have to check one car i just wash it wash it sorry uh, for the first time all right over torquing here that's how it looks like yep we're gonna see that later not now i have to go outside to have one check up to see one car to see what's going on with this car it cleaned up well i need to measure the valve guides like i said all right well i see also here okay it's not rough but i want to measure also the bore here where it's passing the head bolt because usually because of this manifold and because you don't can you cannot put external and because somebody opened it before and it was on a tune engine definitely it was tune application it was not bone stock and somebody opened the closed again why well, i'm saying that because if it was from the factory you're not gonna see this kind of scratches you're not gonna see here this kind of things if you torque it down properly and you apply the proper amount of sealant on the cover usually they're not suffering all right also here that's not good that's not good you're not touching at all here all right So, surfaces, guides, seats, second. I need to talk to the machine shop. Okay. It's the first wash, it's not the final. Yeah, there are the few insectos, nice, no carbon, okay, beautiful. On the spark plug hole here, looks clean. I'll go and check that again with the, with the light. I saw one seat that has one mark, which one it was? This one, this this can go away. It's not a big deal. It might not need to recut the seats again. If it's suffering any seed, you can just remove, just to touch it actually, to clean the surface, to refresh the surface of the seat. No, it's nothing, it's just two, three thousand millimeter only. But if you do it in one, you're gonna do it in all of them. You're not gonna do it only only in one seat. To be all of them equal. In any case, you know what? I'll gonna upload the video till now. Then I'm gonna when I'm gonna measure the valve guides, I'll gonna start again the camera. Because I'm gonna forget it. Yeah, one light resurface. I wanna see also if it's straight the surface. And you see here where it sits the head gasket. Somebody, somebody sanded it with a sandpaper. Don't don't put a sandpaper or something. You see these lines? That's not the ideal. That's not the ideal. Ah, there is also another one here. Another here. It's not good to have this kind of lines where it sits the where it's sealing here the compression chamber, the head gasket. It's you, you can get away if let us say this line was just only here, it's not gonna have any problem. But not here at this area. 
where it's sealing the compassion chamber. Okay, at least if it doesn't have a run out, you can just remove 500 millimeter, just touching it, and everybody have it. Here, the resolution need to come out. Yeah, okay, I'll gonna upload this one because I have to go outside to check one uh, 205, and then I'm gonna continue later with the cylinder head. That's it, that's it. The valves, the covers and all these things, I haven't touched yet, I haven't washed yet. Uh, most probably we're going to use the valve springs from the other cylinder head and the valves from the other cylinder head, not from this one. That's what I believe. And I think that I have a healthy stock valves. I don't want to get this one because this they have a wear. I want just to compare it. Or the best thing is to compare it with the other valves. I'm going to measure it and then I'm going to show you how it's much smoothing. Yep. That's it for now, over and out. Later on the rest. Okay, back inside the engine room. Uh, I went to the C63 earlier. 10.6 millimeters. A little bit less than 2.6. 10.6. Alright. Okay, this is for Gerrit. All right, let's make it upside down now. Ah, stay over there. Stay. Oh, yeah, okay, give me a second. I'm just uh, flipping this in the head upside down. Upside down, upside down, upside down. All right, let's do that again from up. I was expecting that. Yep, yep. It's been compromised. I was expecting that. That's why I'm taking it. So I might set the machine shop to clean for me. I'm gonna pass a drill bit to clean the hole. And then I'm gonna tell them to clean the surface here to remove 500 millimeter. Just touch it to come nice and flush. One second to measure how much it is. This is a 10.59 10 10.59 of millimeter and let's call it 10.6 alright let's see how much the bore there 10.25 to pass inside 10.25 was 10.6 10.25 of millimeter yep so when we're gonna send the machine shop for the valve guides now we're going to measure the valve guides. I'm going to tell them also to take care here. Let's see the valve guides. Okay, this is 6.038. Alright. I already checked it. By the way, these are 6mm guides, right? It's supposed to be a 6mm guide. See this? This is 6.06. .06. This is a 600mm grader. Same thing with this one. It comes like that, it's not coming like this. Classic, like a neck. The intake, what's this? This, like I said, this is supposed to be at six millimeters. And not to have 
the, the intake has also seven, it has more than 700 mm run out 600 mm the exhaust 700 mm the, the intake you understand that need all guides now if you want to see it how it looks like let me get let me get this far one second let's let's get one rough measurement just a second yeah what do we have 5.93 okay okay it's exhaust but no need to have so much, that much clearance okay we are talking about it's more than one ten of millimeter the clearance okay so what i'm gonna do now i will one second i will just clean a little bit and degrease it don't have oil on it and put it there to see how much it's moving yesterday had oil on it and the valve seal today we're not gonna have i told him the valve seal i keep it there or remove it now it's not here i'm talking about yesterday we will gonna say give me a second after cleaning the valve I didn't make the scratches, there was a scratch here by the way, alright. And there is also one imperfection in one spot. Yep. Now you see all of them they have the scratches. On the same height. Fine, I took this valve from here to be exact. Now, let me show you here what's going on. Let me keep it straight. It was this one or this one? Just a second. Yeah, all of them are gone. This is the combination, the wear of the valve with the, valve, with the wear of the guide. So, forget these valves, you're gonna be way down and forget these guides. Let me check one second the surface. And then it makes sense to see also the valves from the other cylinder head. I'll get check also the seats, like I said. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, that's not good. This is not good. No, screw it. I'm not gonna even measure the the surface. Obviously, in the head, I'm gonna send to the machine shop direct for guides and resurfacing. First, we have to to inform the owner, and then if he approves, then we're gonna send it. What was we need to check now? I need another one thing. Dang it! I have to go also outside, and I'm, I have burned my mind. Yay! Shit, you see what I forget? I need to clean also the cover and get the camshaft and check it to see that it's okay and does have an extra clearance. That's more important. And then, ah, that, that's, the, that's the seat that I saw before. It's okay, it's not that bad. Not that bad. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let me upload the video because I'll gonna forget it or I'll gonna mix it up with other videos or I'll gonna delete it. So, what we know for sure, what I know for sure up to now, uh, I have to check also, like I said, the camps are up because if up has a problem, we're not gonna continue. We're not gonna place an order from the guides or we're not gonna send for resurfacing if there is a problem up here on the cover. <laughs> It looks a little bit disaster. We'll gonna see. We'll gonna find out. I'll gonna upload this video. I'll gonna make another video later on. I think that I mentioned that earlier and I never did it. Yeah, he lovely. <laughs> Get used to it.